Hello, everyone. Today we're going to talk about fulfillment by Amazon, also known as FBA, and how it relates to Shipping Easy's inventory management system. I'm going to show you how to turn it on, what it looks like, and how it helps you keep track of inventory that's been allocated for fulfillment by Amazon. Currently, this is only supported for U.S.-based Amazon stores. First, let's talk about how FBA and Shipping Easy work together to ensure you never run out of stock and miss a sale. Basically, when activated, Shipping Easy will import stock levels Amazon has for your FBA items into its own column within the Shipping Easy product catalog and display them alongside your self-fulfilled stock or fulfilled by merchant, also known as FBM for this same product. It also allows you to change an order that would have otherwise been self-fulfilled into an FBA order. Once we activate inventory for FBA, you have the benefit of setting low stock thresholds, so you know when you need to send more stock to Amazon. Data from the Shipping Easy reporting tool can help you determine low stock thresholds and replenishment timing. This is an absolute necessity for anyone using FBA and our inventory management system, so let's see how to get it set up. It's actually very easy. We just go to your already connected Amazon store by clicking on settings on the blue bar at the top, then stores and orders in the bottom left. Navigate to your already connected Amazon store and click the logo. Then let's go to the products tab. All we need to do is check this box that says display FBA available quantity. Then when you hit save, the next time Shipping Easy syncs with your Amazon store, it'll bring over the FBA stock level information. Let's go take a look inside the product catalog and see what that looks like. I added some FBA relevant columns using the Arrange Columns link right here, so I could illustrate all the information related to FBA stock levels that's available in the product catalog. You might not see or need everything here, but as you can see, we import the FBA stock levels into this column then show you the available stock right here, the FBA threshold will alert you when your FBA stock level reaches this number, and should be set at whatever number ensures you have enough time to replenish your stock with Amazon before running out. And to the left are the same columns, but they represent your merchant fulfilled stock, that is, the stock you have on hand. Be sure to check out the video on setting low stock thresholds for more information on how to do that, as it works the same for both FBA and normal low stock thresholds. It's important to note that the only way to adjust the FBA stock levels is to send Amazon more stock. The Shipping Easy platform gets this number directly from Amazon, so it can't be manually adjusted. Now from time to time, you may not have the stock on hand to self-fulfill an order, but you are able to fulfill it from your FBA stock. There's a cool little feature in the Shipping Easy platform that gives you the ability to change an order from fulfilled by merchant to being fulfilled by Amazon. Since we've already enabled FBA stock levels in Shipping Easy, we just need to enable multi-channel fulfillment back in our Amazon store. So settings, then stores and orders in the bottom left. Click on Amazon, and this time we're going to go to the orders tab. We have these two FBA related checkboxes here. The first one that says import FBA shipments will populate your shipment history page with orders that were fulfilled by Amazon after they've been fulfilled. Keep in mind that counts against your monthly shipping total. This other one, however, is why we're here. Check the box that says Enable Multi-Channel Fulfillment and hit Save. What that allows us to do is to go back to the Orders page, and if we see an order that contains only line items for which we know we have FBA stock available, we can check that order or orders, and from the More button at the top, select Dropship select the shipping service, and hit confirm. This switches the order to an FBA order and they handle fulfillment. If you turned on the import FBA shipments checkbox on the previous page, you'll see this order on your shipment history page once it's been shipped. So there you go. If you want to read about these features in our knowledge base, the best starting point is to click the help center in the bottom right and search FBA. Click the fifth result here that says how to import FBA stock levels. This little square opens it in a new tab, and there you go. Thanks for watching everyone, have a great day.